Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we have a topic that is so very important to discuss pertaining to the iOS 13.5 jailbreak and how to maintain your device's jailbreak. It's so key and I cannot stress this enough. Really guys, this is so super important. That brings us to iOS 13.5.1. I expect this to be released by Apple very, very soon, potentially even this week, with the sole change being to close the uncovered jailbreak for iOS 13.5. When that happens, you guys cannot update. I repeat, do not update no matter what. If you're not inside of your device's jailbroken state, there is a small chance that you could accidentally update it. And uh, just to ensure that you avoid that possibility, just go inside of the settings application general and then software update and make sure automatic updates is disabled guys that is so so key because once apple releases the patch for this jailbreak they will stop signing ios 13.5 and you'll be locked out of jailbreaking until a new jailbreak is released if you update from 13.5 and of course the same thing does apply if you are waiting to jailbreak for the no computer method to once again be re-signed maybe you don't have access to a computer this is the one thing you absolutely must do beyond a shadow of a doubt is to disable those automatic updates inside of the settings app that I just showed you guys. That is the crucial, crucial way to maintain your iOS 13.5 and below status. And then also on top of that, if you are watching this video at a later point, there are a couple of things I want you to check for. Maybe you accidentally or purposefully installed the iOS 13 beta profile, in which case when Apple does does release new beta versions, then they will automatically download to your device in the form of an OTA update. So what I want you to do first is to go inside of the settings app after disabling automatic updates and then go to general and scroll down. You're looking for something called profiles and device management, or maybe it just says device management or profiles. Tap into it and delete any potential iOS 13 beta profiles there and restart your device. Next, after that, go inside of Settings General and then followed by iPhone Storage or iPad Storage if you have an iPad. And what you're looking for is any iOS OTA update. It will say something like iOS 13.5.1. Tap it and then delete it. Delete it in its entirety and that way you will be good to go. And you might have to do this step more than once. iOS loves to download OTA updates in the background even if you have automatic updates disabled. And really that wraps up this video. I just wanted to get something out there that's dedicated for those of you who I know will inevitably update to iOS 13.5.1 and up, whether it is intentional or accidental. I wanna try to spread the word as much as possible to simply avoid this, just avoid it at all costs. And uh, then that way you will be able to jailbreak. So I hope this video helped at least one person out. If it did, be sure to hit that like button, share this video around so others see it, and uh, help me spread the word, guys. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.